Do you want to be able to shoot the ball like this? Or do you want to be able to dribble like the ball is glued to your foot? This video has the only drills you need to help improve in both of these areas. Here's the warm up I started off my session with. We're doing lots of shooting today, so you need to make sure that you're properly warmed up, otherwise you're at high risk of injury. Plus, you perform better when you're loose anyways. If you're doing your own warm up, just make sure to do some dynamic stretches to get your hips firing and ready to go. They're going to be put to work today. After I was warmed up physically, I did 100 juggles with both feet and then my right and left foot individually. These juggles should be waist height or above and try to hit the ball with your laces and put no spin on the ball to mimic striking the ball for shooting. I know it isn't glamorous, but don't skip this because it is reinforcing proper striking technique before you go into the shooting drills we have today. After I finished juggling, I did four different ball mastery drills. These drills are excellent for improving your footwork, ball control, dribbling, and change of direction. The single cone drill is simpler and a good way to start, while the two cone drill is more challenging. Keep working at them and they get much easier over time. And you'll also get faster and more comfortable with the ball at your feet. I usually do these for three sets of 30 to 45 seconds before moving on. If you guys have liked the video so far, then please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Now that I've done some ball mastery drills, I need to prepare my legs and hips for all the shooting they're about to do. So I worked on my low driven passing technique to prepare my body for striking balls with more force. I hit 10 passes with each foot before moving on. Now it's time to start doing some finishing. This is the Ronaldinho dribbling drill to a finish. This is one of my favorites since it works on having quick feet as well as finishing. These finishes are game realistic, trying to slot the ball in the side corner past the goalkeeper. Do a little move at the cone or at least have a change of pace and then finish the ball quickly. The quicker you get the shot off, the more game realistic the drill is. I did 20 sets of these using my right foot to finish 10 of them and then taking the other 10 with my left foot. If you've liked the video so far, please leave a like. It helps me out so much. Thanks. Finally, I finished off with hitting shots from range. I play outside back and I get to come inside often in games, so developing long shots is something that I'm working on to offer more of a goal threat.
but this is an important skill for all players. For example, center mids, you guys get in these areas all the time in games. But even if you aren't getting in these areas that often in games, having the ability to hit shots from range makes you a far more dangerous player in games. This training session is the perfect blend of ball mastery and finishing work. Try it out next time you train and let me know how much you enjoyed it. In the meantime, you should watch this video here where I explain the importance of ball mastery and footwork training if you want to improve in soccer. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.